Sometimes finding your calm after a traumatic event can be difficult. This week, Shannon and Rachel talk about techniques and ways to think to help you find your calm. And she's like, what do you mean? Well, I want to see where the knife came, went in. Can you show me that? She's like, well, no, I, she didn't really stab me in the back. Okay, what do you mean? So that's another way to calm yourself is to, you know, really watch the words that you use and, and the way that we use those words. Because if we say, she's always stabbing me in the back and she, well, hold on, that's, that's pretty deathly, right? That's horrible. But if, if what it is is, well, you know, sometimes she's out there and she, she makes choices that I wish she wouldn't make and, and she changes our plans on us. Well, that's not really the end of the world, right? You're not going to bleed. <laughs> You're not going to bleed to death because she did that. Your right. life isn't going to end because she did that. But right. if she stabs you in the back, it, it might ruin your life, right? It, it, yeah, yeah. So just by doing that and going through that that simple process, you kind of show someone, okay, I'm making this much bigger in my mind. Right. I, I'm making this out to be something that it just really isn't. <laughs> 